Meta Platforms or Facebook's parent company has crashed 25% in one day and investors are now wondering should they buy the stock or should they be selling it? Hi, I'm Alvin, I see your Dr. Wealth and today I'm going to share with you my views about what's going on with Meta Platforms. And we know that the latest quarter results uh, were very bad for Facebook. The growth has slowed down to just 20% uh, in terms of its revenue growth. And uh, it doesn't help when Google is doing, or Google, Alphabet, Google's uh, parent company is doing like 32% revenue growth rate. And so, you know, uh, comparatively, Facebook is, or Meta Platform is one of the weaker uh, ones among the big tech companies in terms of the latest performance. And another important thing that to point out was that the daily active users, which uh, Facebook has been tracking for a long time to come, uh, has finally declined instead of increasing. It declined about 1 million. It's not significant, but this is the first time in history that Facebook has saw a decline in their daily active users. So investors are start to worry that, you know, is Facebook hitting the growth ceiling of their users? And they are now at about 2.8 billion users um, that is the, still the most popular place on earth and that's where the question come right if the growth is no longer there and to make things worse uh, Facebook is projecting about 3 to 11 percent revenue growth for the next quarter as a guidance and that just confirmed the investors fear that the uh, growth for Facebook has really slowed down a lot as compared to the rest of the big tech companies they're still growing pretty well right so then uh, the, this 25% drop in the revenue becomes very justifiable. Of course, Zuckerberg was giving some explanation and one of the reasons that he cited was because of competition uh, that is trying to steal away users' time, leisure time uh, from the Facebook social media as well as Instagram, uh, all the umbrella under uh, meta platforms, right? So one of the key competitors is TikTok, okay? And we know that social media platform is not very sticky across generation. So if I can generally speak about the dominant social media for each generation, for the boomers, it will be YouTube. And for Gen X, it will be Facebook. And for Gen Y, it will be Instagram. For Gen Z, it will be TikTok. And uh, the people who are going to primary school now, the kids are probably uh, using Roblox and uh, toddlers will be watching YouTube videos. So you see that you know uh, each social media is able to capture a generation of users and uh, meta platforms are able to capture two generations which is gen x and gen y via facebook and instagram and they just can't get the younger ones right so that also tells us that it is natural that after a period of time facebook will stop growing or meta platforms will stop growing because they have already captured majority of the people from the generation that they are targeting right and that is why uh, zuckerberg is moving to the metaverse because that is the next kind of social media that we will be probably using in the future and facebook wants to be there as early as possible and they even changed the name right to meta platforms for that reason and uh, that is not a, a, a confirmed thing as well because uh, meta platforms may not be able to be a winner in the meta uh, space and they are spending a lot of money right 10 billion dollars the last year right in in, in in terms of growing this metaverse uh, business and it is not a confirmed deal and it's still in the early stages so all in all you can see that the growth is slowing and they are investing in a new space which is not guaranteed and that means that in the next few quarters uh, meta platforms results are not going to look good and investors are probably preempting that and causing a 25 percent sell down in one day so to me i do think that uh, meta platforms current business is still strong right uh, i know it because as a small business owner uh, we are doing Facebook ads, we are, we are still spending money with Facebook. Nothing has changed much, uh, even though there were some talks about iOS um, uh, privacy concerns that Facebook could not target iOS users that well. But um, it is still one of the best social media platforms if any small business wants to uh, target their audiences. Much better than, say, LinkedIn or even uh, 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 Google uh, search itself, right? So I do think that Facebook, in terms of their current business, it should not be a problem. They should continue to uh, capture that cash flow. Uh, the only question mark is about the reinvestment of these profits into the metaverse. Right? That's, that's still a pretty big unknown. And it's not something that we can see results in just one year or two years, right? So investors who are still keen about meta platforms and seeing this as an opportunity to buy, you should be aware that the results are not going to be a short-term thing that can be a turnaround uh, that, that you can see in the next few quarters, right? So you have to have a longer horizon for that. And I do think that there is a knee-jerk reaction to 
the results. Uh, 25% drop is probably too much. Um, if we benchmark uh, beta platforms valuation to Alphabet, right, uh, which means that there is some room for the platform's uh, share price to go closer to uh, Alphabet's valuation. And I last calculated was around 277. So the share price is about 224, 225 right now. So there is some room, even in the short term, there should be some uh, uh, over uh, knee jerk reaction that should be, cor should be corrected. Uh, but going from 277 and beyond, that is uh, uh, something that is more uncertain, right? So that's why I do think that if Anyone who wants to get into Meta platform, uh, you should take a longer view. And there's another positive sign is that Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of uh, Facebook, is still in the helm. He's still the CEO championing it. This is very different from the rest of the big tech companies. right? You have Amazon, Jeff Bezos have left, Tim Cook has taken over from Steve Jobs, uh, 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 Sadia Nutella has taken over uh, Steve, Steve Baumer previously, right? And uh, uh, they are not the, the founders for the other big tech companies, they are not really running the business from a day to day basis, right? So, Zuckerberg, if you really believe in the management, believe in the founder's vision and passion, uh, that is something that people are betting on as well. That I believe that uh, um, he is young enough to even continue to run the company for the next 10, 20 years or so, right? So, um, uh, it will bring in a different element to the business itself, right? There is this uh, founder element. Uh, there are studies who show that founders who run their company tends to perform better. So there is no other better person than Zuckerberg to run uh, this metaverse project. So if you are someone who have confidence in Mark Zuckerberg, then this is a, a good opportunity time to invest in. So that is my view, right? Uh, of course, there are other uh, uh, competition that we, we may not know how we will pan out, right? Especially on the TikTok space. Uh, Zuckerberg has also doubled down on the uh, IG reels that they want to do more on videos, right? So they are still some of these uncertainties that you need to take note of, right? That we don't know. And these kind of developments will come out in the future. And as investors who want to pick stocks, you have to take care of all these developments as it unfolds, right? So I hope you have a better understanding of uh, what Meta Platforms is at right now. And it can help you make a better informed decision whether to buy or to stay away, right? So uh, hope you like the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll do more videos like this in the future.